Let's take a look at what we can do with the count if function. Now, I like the count if function because it allows me to very quickly present and report on my data. Uh, you know, so I can kind of come up with summaries very easily. So if I look at this, let's say I wanted to know what the breakdown was in my in my crime data sheet. If I wanted to know uh, how many, you know, what the crimes were per district. I can actually pretty easily do that using uh, the count if function. Now I could put it over here on the sheet, but I like to keep this organized. So I'm going to create a new sheet here, and we're going to say we'll ca we'll call this crimes by district. And I can actually just use a function that's built in. I can use unique, and I can go back and select all these values. I could type you know all the different districts in, but I'm not really sure what they are. So I can use that unique function to output those into my spreadsheet. Now uh, the unique function is is giving me these values in unsorted way, but I can just use the sort function to then just sort those very easily. So now I get those values sorted. Now I can take advantage of the count if. So I will use count if, and then I'll go back and select my column, and collect, select that whole column, and then if it matches this district. Now I am also matching the header here because I'm counting the header, but the header is not going to be any one of these values. So you can see this is counting, and it's telling me 868 records match this uh, district one. And I can actually drag that down, and I can get all of those. So you can see district three is where a lot of crime occurs, and district one is you know, very few crimes relatively to the rest. Uh, so you know that allows me to present on that piece of information pretty easily, pretty quickly. You know, so I can get that summary, and I can, can see that without having to count through each one of these values. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing for NCIC code, I could do that as well, pretty easily. I just do the exact same thing, uh, crimes by NCIC code, and I can just say we do the same kind of thing. We'll use sort unique, and I'm going to select everything in that column all the way down to the bottom and hit enter and that's going to give me all of the NCIC codes. There's quite a few here. It looks like there's uh, 88 NCIC codes. And But now I, all I have to do is count if and then go back to my sheet, select my column and then match that to this value and I can then drag this down. I can either copy and paste. I could copy that cell or I could use that crosshairs and just paste it all the way down but here we'll, we'll copy and paste so I'm going to select that bottom cell I'm going to hold down shift and click and then I'm gonna paste that everywhere here so you can see where the NCIC codes are and you know how the crimes break down now if I wanna know something like if I'm looking at this data and I'm trying to figure out what's in here you know maybe I wanna know how many crimes are uh, involved burglary you know there are a few uh, you see burglary in here. And maybe I also want to know how many thefts and um, how many firearm crimes there are. Um, I could count each one of these, but I can't really sort anyway. But fortunately, I can do that pretty easily using uh, using the uh, ability for count if to match different text. So I'm going to hit plus. Now, count if, w you know, I could use a count if to match how many of these there are, but you know, I could use that to match how many particular entries there are for an address but if I use count if to match some of these other values we'll see we can actually get some pretty interesting results so crime types we'll go ahead and say theft burglary and firearm so if I want to know how many crime descriptions include these values all I have to do is use the count if function and I'm going to select column F here and then I'm going to type in star theft star and you can see there are 935 crimes that involve theft uh, now that's actually kind of interesting I can even do this you know I can create different pieces of text by using that wildcard and then joining that with cell a1 and then joining that with another wildcard and you can see that gives me the same result. It's just basically inserting that that text theft right into the, the in between the wildcards. If I don't use these wildcards and I just use A1, you see I get zero because it's not actually matching any of these exactly. But when I use those stars, they, they basically match anything before or after theft. So let's go ahead and hit undo and we'll bring that back. And now I can just copy this down. So you can see now I have 986 car crimes that involve bur burglary and 125 crimes that involve firearms. So I can pretty quickly find out you know, this information just by using a, a basic COUNTIF function. Now if I want to know some more complicated things, like maybe I want to know for District 3 um, 
how in, in, where the grid is above 1,000, how many NCIC codes for 7,000 7, there are. That's going to be a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to have to enter some, I'm going to have to enter a function for each one of my rows. Uh, I can't just count, you know, all of those things together very easily. But what I can do is I can use an and, and I can say where C3 or C2 equals 3, and then also grid is greater than 1,000 and also NCIC code equals 7,000. So you can see here, this is gonna come up as false. We can give this a header, we'll just say match. And I can now copy that down just like this, or I can copy it, I can go to the bottom of my sheet, and I can paste that into every one of my values. You can see we get a lot of falses. There's a lot of falses here. Let's see if we have any trues. So what we will do now is we'll create a new tab and we'll say, we'll just put in a value here, um, district three, where NCIC is 7,000 and grid is greater than 1,000. Now all we have to do is count if in our original sheet, if it's true, that's all we have to do. And you can see here that's going to give us a, a value of 14. So 14 crimes match these particular criteria. But we could use that for a variety of different uh, matching. So uh, using the count if function, you can see how you can kind of make in, or make up answers to these questions based on the data pretty fast. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to have some more videos on some of these logical functions. And uh, we'll get more into how we can kind of program our sheet without actually getting into app script just yet. Thanks for watching.